Before we are born, stem cells divide and make new cells such as nerves, which can spread out from the spinal cord into the rest of the body. In children with neuroblastoma, however, they continue to divide when they shouldn't, producing way too many cells and forming a tumour. So what are they up to? Meet MYCN and ALK. These two proteins have specific functions in our body and usually behave themselves. In some cases of neuroblastoma, though, these two proteins are thought to turn rogue, working together somehow to push the stem cells into making cells that can form tumours. Professor Chesler at the Institute of Cancer Research in London hopes that by using a model that recreates neuroblastoma in the lab, they can test new treatments which only target the excess cells created. Across the country, Cancer Research UK is funding work like this to better understand cancers affecting children and young people and to develop new, better and kinder treatments.